Hello guys, um, welcome again to Motion Cube channel and uh, today we will make this uh, rocket that uh, is very simple uh, and we're gonna start uh, right now so let's start so we have Cinema 4D uh, R19 it's not an uh, animation uh, tutorial, it's only modeling We'll focus on the modeling and will not even focus uh, on the texture. So let's start. So I recommend from you to to watch uh, some reference uh, from the internet. Now uh, I want the uh, the wire the the wireframe uh, to be visible. I will press N and D. And indeed, now you can see uh, how this uh, model look. So it's now have uh, 36 faces. Um, I'm gonna make it 12. 12 is good. Uh, all right. And now let's convert this to edit the pulley and I will go to make editable and I will select the uh, the polygons control A right click and optimize now let's go to the uh, points grab this point and lift it up to the Y axis now let's say this is enough like that after that we will go to the edges and I will go to loop path tool here and I will drag it on the uh, on the model here and let's start uh, one line here and one line here and one line here now because it's so uh, point here I will go right click here and let's go to bevel and just bevel this a little bit there here now I will go to the to the edges here and I will select double click on this edges here and then go to the scale let's scale it a little bit there so going to start shaping the rocket as you can see here all right now I will go again to the loop path cut here let's cut one down there one in the middle and I want to cut also this edge here to make it sharp we need this edge to be sharp so we'll grab grab this here and you can now go to select and uh, go to loop here okay uh, not loop ring and I will select ring here and you go right click here and you can connect those edges here now let's just bring it inside here so we forming we forming the head right now okay and next we will go again to uh, loop path and let's make it tighter by bringing those edges here and we're doing this because once we apply the, the smooth here, let's name this uh, rocket. If we go to the subdivision surface here and we press Alt while we're selecting the object, it will be smooth just like that. Now, right now, it's pretty much. Uh, smooth now so I'm gonna convert this to one and this to one the subdivision render all right 
now let's create the uh, the opening here and we're going to create the opening by going now just disable this arrow here so we go uh, without the smooth let's go to the rocket here and you know what right now I don't need any smooth I'll get it out it's okay I'll just keep it you know throw it later on so right now I'm gonna go uh, to cylinder here now let's move it to the x-axis and I'm going to use okay radius um, you decide uh, how much the radius you want but the segment here we need to make it also 12 which is going to be good or maybe 10 yeah 10 here I want this to be equal so 5 by 5 and uh, right now it's in the center as you can see because uh, every object when it's created in Cinema 4D it starts in the center okay so right now get that down here cylinder and uh, let's go to the boolean I'm gonna throw those inside here and you see right away we created an open here now I'm gonna select the cylinder here and let's bring it here so we need this open just like that and I guess it's good so maybe I can bring it down want a little bit there or you know I will do this later that's okay okay so I will create an uh, editable poly here the cylinder select it and optimize it okay that's much better and now I want to uh, take the cylinder copy maybe I'll use it later and throw it right over here and hide it okay now I will select the boolean here and go right click here and connect object and delete and now we have only one object okay now if you want to uh, to make um, now this is not right here you know so um, what we can do is we can go right to this edge here and you can right click and go to dissolve and you can find that dissolve here it's MN so I'll press MN right now so now you know what I'm pressing so go MN now don't worry about that it will go uh, okay so let's start with this one here Let's go and optimize first. Next. Okay, why it's not selected here. <coughs> okay. Yeah. I'll go right click here and then go to line cut. And uh, let's start right from here and I'll go here 
here than here. And I press escape. Now sometimes you need to Okay, let's see what is the problem here. Click and let's connect. Right. Yeah. It's not working, so let's see what is the problem here. So I'll delete this and this one here. And that's okay. We can now go right click here, and uh, there is the uh, the closed polygon hole and we'll go and close that so now we fix that now we can go again to the knife tool here line cut and we're done okay let's see here now so I want to slide this a little bit to the side here. So let's slide it. So this one here. Let's slide this down. Right. Now also we want to dissolve this so okay. and you know what rather than going around uh, this I will just select the ring just like that and then I will deselect those edges we don't need now I'm gonna go right click here and connect so we only now need to connect those pieces here. Connect. All right. Now the only thing that I want to do now is I want to use the uh, line cut here. Well, let's create this edges here to tighten up the opening when we smooth it slide it down I'm using a slide because I don't want to mess with the topology of the uh, because if, if it's not slide, let me show you here. If it's not slide, maybe I will move it front and you will ruin the, uh, the model. But with the slide, it's only go uh, with the path. So if I go slide here, and I move it, you know, it's moving along the model itself. All right right click uh, let's go again to loop path and let's add okay now let's see how this smooth now will look like so here is that smooth let's throw it and So in C, and it's quite good. That's good. Let's go back to in D. And I'm toggling through this by going to display here and playing with this, you know, 
quick shading and we're now at the quick shading lines and here's the quick shading the one you saw before but it's only shortcut now let's create the glass uh, right over here so I will take those polygons uh, inside here and I will press control and shift at windows and once you go cycle through the faces here you select the ring that you want so right now I'll go right click here and create a split now split will create an extra piece right here but you can use it so here it is and I want to be uh, the anchor point at the center so I will go to uh, mesh axis center and center All right. now I want the glass to be a little bit uh, spherical so first I will do is I will go to this uh, point and chamfer that or bevel you know I came from 3D City Max so. let's go here now if you subdivision more see we got another piece here which you can subdivision you know what I'm gonna go back here and control Y so okay so now we're having a problem I'm, I'm gonna do it again here so let's go to bevel but uh, yeah let's keep this zero much better and now as I told you you know I like to do it manually so we'll go here to the line and we're gonna start connecting these those here now our goal is to keep as much as possible a four faces which is better for modeling better for smoothing, better for texturing, better for everything in 3D um, now I would like to create a line here and that is by going to loop path here this here and this here and we're doing that because, let me show you Once I select those faces here and bring it forward here, we're going to start creating this bevel shape here. So now I'll select the center. And I'll go here and we created a cool look here. Now I'll go again to loop path cut and let's tighten this that's really uh, I'm not sure if I want to extrude the face to create but you know what we will we will extrude it so we'll go control a right click extrude and make sure that we are creating the caps here all right now let's go here there just like so and now I want to create the border and uh, if you remember the cylinder that we kept uh, right over here uh, we're gonna use it for um, so I will press UI. Uh, okay, something is not working. So uh, okay, I think because it's now press UI, it's still not working. 
I want to invert that. So go select and invert, invert UI. So you press UI and you delete it. And why are we pressing always and optimize? Let me show you when we go. Oh, it's not showing right now, but in most cases, the model will remember its uh, visible uh, edges. So once you go right click on the model here and you go optimize, you now have the clean geometry. Right click and bevel. But this time, um, Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so let's create this here. I'll delete this and now extract. All right. Now let's make at the center and let's bring it right to the model but now here's the problem so first let's scale it up a little bit there Now let me tell you something here. I know that you could do that without uh, making that uh, shape here, uh, without making the opening. But I did that because maybe some of you will need uh, this rocket to be visible from inside. So, so then you can you can use this method here. But if you want just normal, like, uh, without a lot of effort, you could put that cylinder on that shape and everything is just right. But I'm just uh, making this tutorial uh, because I want to teach you some techniques about modeling for the newer in Cinema 4D. Or, by the way, you know, if you are uh, a little bit confused from the grid, you can go to Filter and press the grid here and now you can't see it again so now I will go and create a tube here I'll go down and let's bring the outer radius here so this is the fire burn for the Let's go height and also the inner I want to increase it now something that I would like to do here is I'll go to uh, okay I think um, Rotation segment, okay. The the fillet here. I'm sorry. Let's play with the fillet here. And see what we can do here. Okay. So the segment two, the radius one centimeter, and now I will create another one here. And I'll scale it down a little bit there. And I will bring another copy here I'm pressing control of course and bring it down here and now we created now I think that those tubes need to be a little bit bigger just okay now we can't scale it proportionally because we need to to convert it into editable pulley and now we can just scale it unproportionately okay so this is the, the exhaust or the fire burn 
Now let's create that lick from uh, the side here. And it's pretty simple. Okay, let's go first to uh, rectangle. And let's con change it, the view to XY. And let's uh, make it editable. I will make sure that it's uh, join, joint. Okay. Now I'm going to start this point here and I will go to uh, chamfer. Now I'm going to use this radius by going right over here okay so this is good now we want this to come out from the rockets now we need a subdivision here so I will select those two here go right click and subdivide and make this point lift it up to the Y axis and then go right click here and again I'm gonna use the uh, chamfer. Boom. Now let's lay it. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to select it all again and I will join again because I don't want this to be two. That's good. Now what we want to do is you want to extrude this. So let's go to extrude and let's throw it right into extrude here. Now right away you get this uh, wrong direction extrude. So let's go to extrude here and let's make this zero. And I think it's uh, right in the x axis. Yeah. So. Right now, I only need this face here. So I will go and let's right click and connect and delete. Right? Just as we did before UI and delete. And now we are. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about here why we do an optimize. You see, though I delete the face, but the Cinema 4D kind of remember that there was some hidden vertices and this will cause some problem so you go let me show you by the vertices here and if you go to optimize you see now it's a clean geometry and there's a lot of points here so I'm going to make it less so I'll select those points here and delete it, press delete delete what you find suitable for your design it's not um, a rule what I'm doing here and you can also use now the slide as I told you or you know what in this case we can use the move tool it's okay because when once we uh, do the, the smooth Everything's going to be all right. All right. Now let's use that line cut. And let's start. Okay, use that. This one here. going to do with that is also line cut it's okay so this one here also this one yeah and now make this for the smooth here mm 
-hmm. Now, if I made a cut here, it will going to be. So you know what? I'm gonna delete it. No. Let's try to dissolve that. Can't dissolve it. It's weird maybe because okay you know what that's okay <coughs> again to line cut here and here as I told you you know we want to to make sure that it's uh, four for for uh, edges, the face. So in this case, what we're we gonna do? So let me think a little bit. I think I found it. Go here. And we will make this edge uh, right over here. Go to line, cut. Okay. Now we can. So you can see now it's still four edges for the face, which is really good. Okay, and also what I want to do is I want to go to loop path and just make an edge here. Now let's go and extrude this. So I'll go and extrude. Make sure you create uh, caps because without creating caps, this is what's going to happen. It's going to be an empty face. See? So create caps. Okay. And again, I'm going to make a loop path cut. Yep. One here and one here. Okay. Now let's see how the smooth will look like when we apply smooth. So press Alt. Okay, it's good, but we'll make this more pointy here. So let's do it. Um, you know what? I will try to dissolve this and look how it's going to look like. So if we go, yeah, let's experiment this here. Oh, it's better. Yeah, I like it better. Okay, so let's now scale it down okay now let's bring this anchor point right over here okay scale it down let's put it on the rocket Um, okay, um, I will uh, first isolate this. And what I'm thinking here is that I want to select 
those edges here. Make sure we selected it. And then I will move it a little bit upward here. Okay. Also, this piece here. Whoa. better all right now let's create that other three and it's now let me teach you this if you don't know so I'm gonna first bring this out from the smooth here and uh, let's go to the array. I'm going to throw this extrude right into the array. Right now we have um, si seven copies and we need to make it three. And let's also control the radius. And now we can also bring it by hand down here. Right. All right, cool. That's cool. Uh, maybe if we s scale it just this one here, scale it down a little bit there. Go array again here and play with the radius. All right. That's good. Now let's create that cartoonish uh, look that you saw um, from the thumbnail in this video. Okay, and how to do that is by okay, we've got now everything right over here and I'm going to press Alt G so we create a group here. Next we'll go to the modifiers here and I'm gonna use a bulge. Throw the bulge right to the top here, and oh, sorry. Let's make it cover all the model here, and now let's play with the bulge here. So we got the strength, and we got this shape here. Let's see. down here and maybe maybe you know let's keep this bulge here let's uh, see if we add I want to see the, uh, the spherify here and there's that taper also so let's see the spherify so let's go here <laughs> That's funny. Okay, I think this verify will will do what we want, but we need to uh, modify it a little bit. Um, check here. Okay. But you know what? Um, I'm gonna do something here. Let's hide those here for right now. For this rocket here, rocket. Let's go to 
to slide. Let's just you know, scale it, make it straight. So this one here. No, I don't like. those faces like that so I'll go down here and also here let's scale it so now what we can do first is scale this a little bit outward here and that one here also scale it a little bit also scale this and that will help us in uh, the bulge Let's see if we um, play with the length of this head here. Check here. Uh, no, that's good. Little bit here. All right, it's good. Yeah, much better. Now we can use the bulge. So let's go to the bulge here. Yeah, that is much better. So there is this curvature also. See. Problem here, you can scale it up. And I will add a spherify here inside, but I will bring the radius. Let's see. This is the shape that I'm looking for. Cartoonish uh, shape, as you can see. Even even the the glass is now squ squashed a little bit. But yeah, I really like it. But uh, right now, let's just disable this. This verify and the bulge. And uh, let's create that uh, bolts around uh, the rocket. Okay, also it's uh, simple. Also, we're going to create around this. You can see that we need to bring this out a little bit. <coughs> All right. So let's uh, create a sphere first. And this sphere radius should be very small. Bring it. Okay, I will go to filter here and I will hide the deformer. And let's make the segment to about seven here. Increase the radius. Okay. 
one is good so I'll go right over here it's good and now let's go you know what to the array go to array make a lot of copies and then play with the radius and lift the yeah, I think it's right now it's inside the rocket so let's go out Get here Right now it's good. If you want to rotate the sphere also. Can okay, maybe. Scale it down a little bit there. Okay, right now because you need to add the smooth here. So there is that rocket here, and let's yeah. Now this array should work. Alright, let's see how it looks. There it is. Now you could now uh, go here and press Control and then just bring this array down here. Now let's play with the radius again, so we get that round the rocket. Create another one here and bring it down here. Press in C now and see how it look. Looks good. Now this one need to be smooth also. So let's uh, let's see what we can do now. First, let's isolate this. And let's go to smooth. Press Alt. And this is not what we want. So again, go in D. I click in a loop path, create one here, one here, and one here. Now let's bring that smooth. Okay, much better. And if you go and you make it two, be much better. So now let's go back to the rocket. Also, this cover here, the glass. glass you can add a subdivision to it hmm. interesting and I will add a smooth for this one here add smooth Press Control R to render. So, look, now you can start uh, throwing uh, material. If 
affliction you can use uh, now the one you saw in the thumbnail I'm using uh, redshift and I will show you in another tutorial how to to make a texture but please uh, comment if you want to know and uh, you can play with the pollutionness of the material here Specular here. Make it more shiny here. Now I can uh, I can go here to Reflection Legacy and uh, then the roughness. And you see now that the the global reflection brightness is 100%. So you can go less than that. Okay. Now, if you want, only to select the the red head here. What you can do is you can go to the rock, the rocket. Sorry then you can start growing the selection here so I'm going to grow so you see that UY is the grow and then you can apply that to the head here of the rocket now I'm going to press uh, invert which is uh, UI set this control I will create a white material here oh this is the wrong material let's go back over here okay and let's apply it I'm gonna go into uh, NC to smooth that Let's give it also one for a metal down there. Oh, control C, Control V. Yeah, let's create that metallic. Go reflecting and go. Let's throw those material apply. So Also the rivet. Metallic material. So here. Okay, okay guys, uh, so we reached the end of uh, our tutorial today. Um, but before that, you know, I would like to do something here for this metal. So, go to this black here, and let's, okay, that is much better, let's render that, yeah, that is much better. So we reached the end of uh, our tutorial today. Uh, we didn't do any unwrapping or texturing. It's, it was only a modeling uh, tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. 
please subscribe and support my channel. New content is coming. Thank you.